Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini series How to add custom templates and design to Divi's blog post formats. The blog is one of the most important parts of your website because this is where all your dynamic content resides. Out of the box we have a brilliant layout but if you customize it and make it look slightly different this makes your website unique and also a bit more creative. So in this mini series we'll be showing you step by step how to customize your layout to make it look different and make you stand out. So I can't wait to get started. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. Okay, so this is our first video in our mini series and this video is all about preparing our development assets. So we are going to need a few things in place. So starting off with a code editor. So you need something that you can, you know, paste your code and adjust your code. And my just suggestion here is Atom. You can find it on atom.io or you can use, uh, if you're on a PC, uh, an app called Notepad++. Okay, so the next app we're going to need is Des Desktop Server. Now, Desktop Server is fantastic because this allows you to install WordPress on your local computer. So what this allows you to do is to run a fully fledged WordPress install on your computer without worrying about hosting it somewhere or paying for hosting. There is a free option which allows you to install three websites. So that's the one we're going to go ahead with. So I'm going to come over here to serverpress.com forward slash get des desktop server and then just go ahead and click on add to cart. Okay, so what you need to do here, although it's free, you need to come over here and enter all your personal information. So I'm just going to enter my, my information here. Okay, I'm happy with all of that. And then I'm just going to say Facebook. Agree to terms. Okay, that's my phone number. I'm going to click on purchase. Okay, so now that uh, we are here on this page, we have the latest version here right at the top. So that's the one I'm going to download. So I'm just going to click on this and it's downloading onto my computer. Okay, so the download is complete. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and set it up. So I'm just going to click on it and we can see here on the desktop that it's unpacking. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to double click, click on open, and then I'm just going to follow the instructions. Right, so I'm going to accept, I'm going to click continue. So I'm just going to click on OK and click on finish. So now let's try and locate our app. So I'm just going to hit command space and then I'm going to search for it. Okay, so it's right here. I'm going to double click. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to create a brand new development website. So making sure that create a new development site is checked. I'm going to click on next. So here is where you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call this dev.dev. .dev. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So what's happening now is it's installing all our WordPress files. So next. So we can see here that uh, pretty much we are ready. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Click on sites. Now I'm able to see my site and we can see here it's on dev.dev. .dev. I'm just going to click on that to visit the site. And then we need to continue and install WordPress. So I'm going to click on continue and you can call, you can give it a site name. I'm just going to call this dev. Give it a username. I'm just going to call it Mac admin. So because this is on my local computer, I'll just put a basic password in here because I don't have to worry about security. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and confirm the weak password and then I'm going to enter my email address like that and then I'm going to go ahead and install WordPress.
Okay, so now you can see that um, WordPress is now installed. You can go ahead and update to the latest uh, version of WordPress by clicking this button, but we're not gonna do that right now. So let's go ahead and install Divi. So we're gonna come over here to themes and then we're gonna click on add new. I have Divi downloaded onto my computer already. So I'm just gonna click upload theme, choose file. And then I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and it's right here. I'm gonna install it and then I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Okay, so now we are running the, uh, uh, we are running WordPress on our local computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and just visit the site and just make sure that it's Divi running. So we can see here that it's, this is Divi that's running on our computer. The next thing we're gonna need is a child theme. And what I'll do is instead of going through the whole process of setting it all up, we have a resource which will show you a step-by-step -step how to do this. So what I will do is I will link to the resource in the show notes below. So pretty much this is all that we need to get ready to start working on our mini series. So as soon as you've created your child theme, make sure you upload it onto your WordPress install and activate it. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.